Ratale kale mesida, ratale sutuna kara, rusa baba mesida, rusa kita la masutu, rasa la mata la mata de rusa, rasa la mata la masha di, ruko baba masuka, rasa la masutu la magia, rasa la masuba kata la masuya, rata de gusi la masidia, rusa kita la masutu data, rata la maluku la mata la masuta. Raka la maduro boko na masate, raka la kinos kina tia, hika na yasa na masada, roko basi la tia, rote na bandi le ushike, raka na basu tana ya, raka la bana la basu daya, raka la bakura masini ya, roko shike na na basa ya, raka la bakura masada na basa ya, raka la basu tana bakara masa ya, roshe kike ne mushani. Rata na basa na na yusa, ramba kala na kala na yusa. Hinda na basu to na bandia, mighty God, mighty King. Leke raba sunua, hika raba shadia. Rata na basu noa, rata na basu dia. Raka na basa na raba kusha dia, raka na raba kara basha dia. Roko na basa dia. Let your grace and your mercy cover us. Hika raba shada raba shada. Let your grace and your mercy be upon us, O God. Rata na basha na na bakusha dia, rokusha na na makanda na basha dia, rokusha na na basha dia, rakala basha ya. Rusha ba da raba sadia, raba karaba karaba koshadia, rakata raba karaba shadia. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we raise our altar of consecration. We raise our altar of prayer. We raise our altar of consecration before You. Hela kalaba sanda raba shadia. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to Your kindness, according to Your tender mercy. Haya shida raba sadia, eka raba shida raba sadia. Everything, oh Lord, in our life uh, that does not line up with Your will, uh, that does not line up with Your word, hekarabashadia, uh, hekarabashadia, let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Ratarabashadia, uh, hekarabashadia, everything uh, that does not line up with Your word uh, and with Your will, uh, let it be removed, oh God, uh, take it away from us, uh, take it away from our life, uh, take it away in the name of Jesus. Uh, we raise this altar of consecration. Uh, we raise This is out of prayer. In the Rabba Sunday Rabaya, in this land, in the name of Jesus, His Shalaba Karabaya, Rata Rabaya Rabba Sayaya, Rata Rabba Sunday Rabaya. Let our voice be heard in the realms of the spirit, in the heavenly realms where you dwell. Have mercy upon us, O God. Rata Rabba Sunday. Let the plans, only your plans, come to pass. Let your will, only your will. Come to pass. Let your desire, only your desire, come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we raise this altar, we raise this altar of prayer. We raise this altar of intercession. We raise this altar. Roshana mada raba shadia. We raise this altar, O God, before You are our altar. Our life is a living sacrifice. Not our will, but Thy will be done. Not our desire, but Your desire be done. In the mighty name of Jesus, you said if we seek you, we shall find you. If we knock, the door shall be open. And whatsoever we ask in your name, you shall give it to us. So, Father, we raise an altar. We raise this altar. We raise this altar. We raise this altar of consecration. We raise this altar of prayer. Shall we kill a baradala bandi? Shall a barabakara basuda? Ratala baba basenda. Rata la basha na la bandi, rushi de de la banda la maya. Rata la basho na la banda, rata la basho tu no bokusha. Raba kana la mahaya, jele kila la basho tuwa. We raise this out of consecration. Ita la basho tu, rata la basha na, rata la basho tu, rata la basha na, roko tara basha, rata la basha ni. Roko shake it up, ya. Roko shaba manda. Roko shake it up, ya. Rata le toroshe. Yekere masanda. 
Randalabasoto, we raise this altar of consecration. Randalabasata, Helabako Shaka, Roko Shandarabasata. In the name of Jesus, as you lift your voice, saints of God, as you open your mouth with power, declare to the King of Kings today, Oh Lord, I raise this altar of consecration. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon our assignment. Have mercy upon, oh God, everything you call us to do. Have mercy as we raise this altar of consecration unto you. We consecrate ourselves unto you. Little holy, acceptable. Let it be holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. Come on, as you lift your voice. Yes, shut up and pray with power. Pray with authority. Pray with dominion. Pray with strength. Rabasha, <laughs> Raka sobranda, roko shama mamada, roko shiketa rabasa, rata rabasoto, riketa rabasata, raka lama soto, rada rabasoto, zeba baba baba shanda, raba baba shakata, roko lava kalaka, rata rabasata, roba shadabande, raba karaba. in the mighty name of Jesus. Zabama Mashata, Zokoto Rabaha, Ratarabakosa, Zilitilata, Zilimatanabasata, Rabakarabasota, Rabakarabasata, Rabakashanda Rabasota, Ekarabasota Rabahaya, in the mighty name of Jesus. Zabakalamashanda Rabaso, Zilimarabakarabasata, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name today. We give you glory today. We raise this altar 
and we raise this altar of consecration. We raise this altar of consecration. We raise this altar of prayer and power. We lift this altar before God. We lift this altar before our Father today. As we lift this altar of consecration, Rama unto the mightiest God, Rama Shada Rama Shata. We lift this altar with the understanding that I have come from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer our foot to be moved, but he that keepeth us as he keeps Israel, he will never slumber nor sleep. For God is your keeper, and he is your shade upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night, but he shall preserve our soul from all evil. So today I hear the Lord say, as, I, as we pray this prayer prophetically, we are raising an altar of consecration. We are raising an altar of power. We are raising an altar for the grace of God. People of God, nothing can be accomplished in the earth except the Lord permit it. Nothing can be advanced in the earth except the Lord permit it. Why am I saying this today? Because, amen, many are the desires of a man's heart. Many things you desire to do and accomplish that we desire to undertake. But if the Spirit of God has not hoovered over that thing, if the Spirit of God has not brewed over that thing, if the Spirit of God has not uttered His voice over that thing, praise God, the Bible said when Moses went into the mountain and the children of God gathered around the mountain, the mountain began to shake and quake and thunder and lightning came out of the mountain. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why? Because when they gathered together, when they came around the mountain, praise God. Amen. God showed off his power. God displayed his wonder. God, amen, would let them know that his presence was there. Are you hearing me today, saints of God? So when we pray, are you all hearing me? Praise God. Hallelujah. When we consecrate ourselves, let's not our prayer be prayers of powerless amen words let's not let our prayers be words of a waste of time let our prayers have power let our prayers accomplish great and mighty things so i heard the spirit of the lord say he said if you're going to have any victory if you're going to have any power if you're going to have any authority if any great thing is going to happen he said man he tell the people they must consecrate they must come before me in consecration they must come before me in prayer sometimes you want to accomplish something and you're trying everything in your human strength to accomplish it until you open your mouth in prayer until you open your mouth praise God in consecration until you turn a plate down until you utter a cry unto God there will be no results you will fight beasts and you will fight venomous animals in the realms of the spirit uh, today in the name of Jesus the spirit of the Lord said I should speak to the people and tell them come to the altar of consecration come as they come before me uh, in these several days of consecrating themselves uh, I will turn the city over into their hands I will turn praise God the blessings over into to their hands. I will turn. I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. I have given it already, but you will see it manifested before you. There are some hard devils. There are some strong men that have set themselves in every region and every coast, and those demons will make it difficult, and they will make it hard for you to accomplish anything. But when you pray and consecrate, and you understand, praise God, the task of your consecration, and the assignment of your consecration, you will accomplish great things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hall open your mouth and say hallelujah to God. Give God praise. He is worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, raise the altar of consecration. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, raise up the altar of consecration. Let the altar, if you learn to live a consecrated life, if you learn to live a life that is holy unto the Lord, you cannot fail. You will not fail. 
you can only succeed. You cannot fail. You will not fail. You can only succeed when you live a consecrated life. People of God, please hear the Spirit of the Lord today. Hear, do not just hear my voice. Hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Because people have failed to live a consecrated life. They have failed to bow down before God. They have failed to stop to pray. Their life has become a living confusion. Nahum, take over. Praise God. People, are you hearing me? You cannot change your problem without prayer. You cannot change your situation without prayer. Somebody say, well, I didn't pray much and I got a miracle. I, I did not pray much and what? Look, oh my goodness, God still blessed me. God still helped me. I'm telling you, oh, watch, keep your eye on that miracle because it will not last long. It will not be able to succeed. Your relationship will not last long. You will not succeed if it was not, praise God. Amen. Praise God. Built on an altar of prayer. Today I have come in the name of Jesus Christ to prophesy and declare in the name of Jesus that this altar of consecration, amen, in this ministry, in this family, praise God, has been raised up for revival. This altar of consecration for revival in the mighty name of Jesus Open your mouth loud and pray with fire. Open your mouth loud and pray with power. Open your mouth and pray with authority. Zabakarabasata. Rosha baba baba baba. Rosha baba baba. Rosha baba baba. Rosha baba baba. Rosha baba baba. Jete de reboshata. Jete de mama maya. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we raise this altar of consecration. In the mighty name of Jesus, we raise this altar of consecration. We raise this altar of consecration for prayer, this altar of consecration for revival in America. We raise this altar of consecration for revival all over the earth, for revival in all the nations, for revival to hit Africa. For revival to hit the Caribbean, for revival to hit Alaska, for revival to hit Asia, for revival to hit all over the world. Oh God, let revival come. We raise this altar of consecration. Oh God, that your kingdom come, that your will be done, that your kingdom come, that your will be done, that your kingdom come, that your will be done. Zabaranabaramanamasha. Yes, Lord Jesus. Have my voice today. So you cannot accomplish anything great unless you've raised the altar of consecration. What is the consecration? The consecration is setting yourself aside and saying to the Spirit of God, Lord God Jehovah, I have given myself over to you. I have presented myself on this altar as a living sacrifice. I am presenting myself to you I'm contacting you only for your will. I don't want my will to interfere. I don't want my desire to interfere. I only want your will. I only want your will, your divine will, your holy will, your will, oh God, to be done. So I raise an altar of consecration and the consecration is telling me now that I must take all my time and all my efforts and I must seek the Lord morning, noon, night 
I raised the altar of consecration and is saying to God, I will seek you in the morning. I will seek you in the noonday. I will seek you in the evening. I will seek you when the sun go down. If you do not raise your altar of consecration before the Lord, a spirit of Jezebel will take over your mind and that spirit of Jezebel will cause you to dysfunction. They will put a spell on you that will cause you to drive you away from God and drive you to them. Now the danger is that you will not be able to even recognize that you have separated yourself from the will of God. Your desire begin to change towards God. Your heart begin to go in a different direction because somebody has raised their altar before you raise your altar. Are you understanding it? This is how wicked people operate. And so before you can even say to yourself, ah, this is what I'm going to do. They have done it for you. They have turned your heart away from God. You begin to ask questions. What am I doing? This don't make no sense. This don't, this don't, this don't make no sense. Look how much I am being paid. Look how much I am I'm suffering. This don't, you begin to see things in the carnal life. But when you consecrate and raise an altar of consecration, you yourself is afflicting your own soul. And saying, God, I'm not waiting for no one to, to afflict me. I'm not waiting for no, no, no one to, uh, to punish me. I am, a, I am punishing my own self. But your punishment is not unto physical death. Your punishment is because you're saying to your flesh, the carnal, unrejuvenated side of you, I am going to tie you down. You are not going to prevail over me. I am going to bring you under my control. You're not going to win over me. <laughs> When God sees an altar of consecration, He sees an altar of somebody that is in spiritual desperation. The only people that consecrate are people that are desperate. The only people that consecrate are people that are what? Desperate. That really know if God does not show up, we're in trouble. I want to submit as it relates to Revival America and Revival Nations. Praise God, I am desperate. I want to let everyone know today I am very desperate. Apostle and I are very desperate. We keep saying he, he keeps saying he is pregnant in the spirit. Why? Because we are desperate. We know if we, we cannot turn back now. We have come too far. We cannot turn back. So we have already put our, 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 our coordinates out there. We've already started a journey. And if we turn back from this journey, we are finished. Are you all understanding? So we raise the altar of consecration and we say to our sons and daughters in every nation, no matter where you are right now under the sound of my voice, I want to pray for your pancakes. I want to pray for your cupcakes. I want to pray for your pancakes. I want to pray for your cupcakes. I want to pray for your pancakes. I want to pray for your cupcakes. I want to pray for your syrup. I want to pray for all the things that you want. I, I need God to do this. I need God to do that. I need God to turn. Yes, we are praying for them. But today, we are putting a blank paper before the Lord. We are putting a blank thing on this altar. And we are consecrating and saying, God, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let only your kingdom come. No other kingdoms. Let only your will be done. No other will, no other word, no other authority shall operate here. People of God, unless we raise an altar of consecration, have we not raised altars before? Have we not raised altars before? Have we not fasted before? Have we not prayed before? Ah, but you are still seeing like a resistance, right? You are still seeing a small, small resistance. You are still seeing like something is there trying to hinder you and happen after you. So what you do, you don't be a foolish woman or man or prophet. You go back again and you visit the altar and you say, Father, we have come to this place. You told us to do revivals all over the world. You told us to do revivals all over America, but there are giants in the land. Oh, there's what? There are giants in the land. You sent us to Florida and there are, there, there are giants in the land. What are the giants? These are powers and strong men that does not want the church of God to enter, that does not want you to enter, that does not want me to enter, that does not want the church to be strong. 
So they fight you in the invisible realm. But now what do you do? Do you turn back and retreat and say, ah, it's not working? No, you fight back. You raise yet another altar. <laughs> you raise yet another altar. Today, we raise yet another altar. And this is the altar of consecration. And this altar of consecration is for revival. In the mighty name of Jesus, this altar of consecration is for breakthrough. You determine which meal you will give unto God today. But you will be given one of these meals. You will surpass one of these meals. Because today you are believing God for an intervention. You we are believing God as we have entered this land. We have lifted up fire revival America. We are lifting up every city from Florida. Praise God to Georgia where we are today. To every city. To Alabama. To North Carolina. Praise God to Philadelphia. To New Jersey. Praise God. Hallelujah. To New York. Praise God. Amen. Virginia. Texas. Praise God. Everywhere. Chicago. Praise God. Every city. Every major city in our route. Praise God. We are lifting it up because we believe an altar should be established in that city. Shall be established in that place a prayer altar of revival a prayer altar of fire should be established in it you people are looking like you are from a you open your mouth you say yes Lord amen what is going what am I saying today people of God praise God we have entered this, this, this city we've entered this land but the children of Israel, when they saw in the, prom, in, 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 in the land, and the Bible said when they looked into Canaan, God promised them Canaan. But when they looked into Canaan, they saw giants there, and they became afraid. And they wanted to go back to where they came from. Because they said, how could this be the place where God sent us? And there are giants here. So, amen, the Bible said they began to fear because they saw the sons of the Anak. Men on giants with long necks and big head. And they became so afraid. They said, this don't make no sense. We cannot find any building. We cannot find any ground. We, what are we going to do? You, you told us to come here. Now look at these inhabitants of the land. is so great. And the Bible said, the Canaanite, the Hevites, and the, every Jebusite, every Ite, Ite, Ite was in that land. Praise God. The Amalekites, amen. All of them were there. And the children of Israel became there. But Joshua and Caleb said within themselves we are well able to possess the land we are well able to possess this land i want to prophesy today we are well able to take possession we are well able to take possession and so what did they do they raised the altar of faith they raised the altar of faith they raise while you are raising the altar of consecration. Yeah. The Spirit of God said you must raise also the altar of faith. Faith is not a word. Faith is not a pastime. Faith is a reality. Yeah. It is real and it has to be demonstrated. Right. It has to be what? Demonstrated. You cannot say you have faith and you have no works. Faith has to be demonstrated. So I hear the Lord say, as of right now, this minute, raise another altar of consecration Amen. while you are while our person is there in florida while praise god some of you are there in 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 in, 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 in the other cities and we are even here in georgia he say raise the altar of consecration do not be moved by what you see do not be moved by where it looks do not be moved by the time we have come to take this city for god And we are not leaving until we have left a mark in the city. Until we have left a death. The enemy will know. Everyone will know. Even the righteous will know that we are here. So I am calling upon all of you today, people of God, for us to raise what at the altar of consecration. What altar of consecration is this? This is the one of prayer. And this is the one of revival. This is the one of prayer. And this is the altar of fire revival. This is the altar of prayer. And it's the altar for what? Fire revival. For the glory of God to be revealed. 
for the hand of God to come and rest upon us. That the struggle will be broken from before us. And that every that wherever God will have the soul of our feet to enter, He will give it unto us. It shall be as we shall take possession of it. As you, as you put, seek first the kingdom of God, all other things shall be added unto you. Can anyone hear me today? As we seek first and we seek the kingdom of God every day. I know you all have needs. I know there are things you're praying about. I know, but every day I pray about your things. Is this not true? Every day I lift up everything you want to pray about. Oh Lord, I need. Oh Lord, I need. But I am just letting the army know. Prayer army. Uh, we, are, we have raised an altar of prayer, an altar of fire, an altar of consecration. And the reason why we are raising a yet another altar. Do we not pray every day? Yes. Do we not pray every, uh, every morning? Yes. But the Lord said, tell the people, come before me for the next several days. Praise God. And what is called the altar of consecration. The altar of consecration, prayer and consecration. Specifically for revival. And revival, praise God, in the cities that the Lord has given to us, so, amen, so far. And even South Florida, that the stronghold will break from that place. That the strong man will be destroyed from over, amen, BFO, MI Global, and our assignment in that region. And the same thing will happen here in Georgia. Praise God, amen, hallelujah. We will not come here to strive with ancient spirits and to strive with praise God ancestral powers and wicked powers no we have the power over those powers that the spirit of Pharaoh will let God's people go that he will do what let God's people go that's what I hear let God people go your family shall be released your loved ones shall be released Everything that is put, is held up, God said, as we consecrate, it shall be released. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So today we raise this altar of prayer and consecration. So it's just all we're doing. We're praying more than we're doing anything else. We're praying more. You're going to pray more than you do anything else. More than you talk, you're going to pray more than you do anything you're going to pray more and you're going to discover which meal either your breakfast you're going to turn that or your lunch you're going to pass over or your dinner one of them you're going to find a strategic meal. which one do you like the most which meal do you love the most which one breakfast you like breakfast the most you like dinner the oh Jesus you're going to turn that one you like breakfast the most? Ah, it is finished. You are not, you will not even put a crumb to your mouth. Jesus, what is this? So the Spirit of God is saying, consecrate to me. This is a very uh, strange type of consecration I am doing. No, we fasted or we fasted in the beginning of the month. We fast at the first uh, three days of every month. But this one, I am raising back an altar. Because I even sense that after that fast and consecration, that the enemy was still causing a resistance. So as, a, as one of the generals in this army, amen, uh, uh, as Apostle and I take retrospect, we can just surf along, just surf. Or we can stop and break the wave. Find the right wave. Find the right current. Find the right currency. Find the right... Rabbi, there was a particular king, and the Bible said he was being fought by adversaries. And as they entered the place, they were being fought by five other kings. And the word of God says in the book of Joshua that when the king saw Joshua, he, he came, he said, I have been consecrating, I have been fasting, and look, you are here. Joshua said, what can I do for you? He said, come and help me fight. He said, come 
and help me fight. And as Joshua went and helped the king to fight, the moon stood still over Ajalon. The sun stood still where it was. And Joshua came alongside that man and began to help him to fight all his enemies. And God gave them victory over the enemy. I am calling all sons and daughters. I am calling all prophetic people to join Apostle and myself in this army, praise God, to join us on this altar of prayer, to join us in this time of consecration as we come to revive America, fire revival America, as we come to take siege of these cities and states. Now, saints of God, now y'all know I love each one of y'all. I'm going to be praying for each one of y'all. And I know we started this revival. Listen to me carefully. I have to, I have to go. I have to hurry. We started this revival, amen, just, amen, uh, several weeks back. I might as well go all the way back to Fort Lauderdale. Because the fire revival was started from there from forever. Praise God. We started the fire revival even in the Bahamas. And then we came, then we started, we were on the mountain here in Fort Lauderdale. But when we got into the mountain of Fort Lauderdale, the Lord said, do not settle just there in Fort Lauderdale. That is the headquarters. But he said, I want you to begin to go and touch each city. Go and touch each, I, I, I feel something on me. I feel something on me, sir. I feel something. I, I do, even right now, I am too scared to tell you all what I feel. I, I, I am too scared. I do know. I need to talk to Jesus some more about this. I feel like I need what the thing is what, what my son has um, for me a sprinter is that what it's called you know the sprinter van one where I can recline the seat and everything all of that okay watch this now I, I just want to go to every city I want to go to every city and I want to enter that city and pray. I want to enter that place and pray. I want to jump on the ground, stamp my feet, and declare this belongs to Jesus. This belongs to God. This belongs to Ayama Shanda. I declare it anyway. But as we are preparing all of this, I want everyone to know today we are still in Georgia. We are in Atlanta, Georgia. We came here, amen, a few weeks ago, and the Spirit of the Lord had us praying as a prophet. He had me praying. Praise God. I wanted to just go back to Florida. Apostle is back there in Florida. But the Lord said to me, raise the altar here. Do not move from this spot until I am sure that the altar is secure. I want to do something. I want those of you that can join me, those of you that can drive here, those of you that can get in a bus or get, it don't have to be expensive to you. Maybe you can just come and drive. Maybe you can get on a, on a quick flight. Come and meet me in Georgia. Praise God. This weekend, I have, I'm going to be, I've been going through to different cities. We've been going through the different cities. And we've been going, as we've been going through to the different cities, praise God, we've been putting a, a, a stamp of oil in different cities here in, in Georgia. Just like we did in Fort Lauderdale. Just like we did in South Florida. We've been putting a stamp, praise God, amen, in, in different cities here. But I want some of you all to come and join me Friday night. I don't care about frills and flops. I don't care about, praise God, amen, all, all this, you know, decoration. I don't want, I don't care about all this stuff. I, I just need a mic. Can I just have a mic? Yes, ma'am. Minister, can you bring me a mic? Get a mic I just want a mic this weekend. Yes, I want to march and pray. Yes. I want to pray. I'm going to come in agreement with some people yes, for things that happen in their life. But I feel an altar of consecration. Praise God for us to end and to, for revival to come. Yes, Even though I'm in Georgia, this is not just about Georgia. Right. Oh. I want that to be understood. Yes. So I am this weekend, I'm, I'm this Friday night, this Friday night and this Sunday, I'm going to, be, going to be at a different venue, a different city, amen, in India and Georgia. And I'm going to be at a place that's called the Legacy Center. Praise God. And the address is going to be on the screen. Praise God. Amen. It's right on the screen. 3015. R.N. Martin Street is in East Point, East Point, Georgia. East Point, Georgia. Praise God. 30344. Praise God. I want everyone, please put it in your GPS right now. Praise God. Amen. It's the Legacy Center 
We're going to be there with the Fire Revival America this weekend. Praise God. Amen. And it's, it's right at 3015 RN Martin Street, East Point, Georgia, 30344. Now, this, this uh, flyer, we'll put it up on the website. Amen. It's there already. Amen. Make sure it's on our community page. Amen. Go right on Nadi Knowledge TV. Scroll down, Bob. Go across to, to the right, and you'll see where it says community. And you can praise God. Amen. Get the information right there. It's called the Legacy Center. Praise God. 3015 is the address. Amen. 3015 RN Martin Street, East Point, Georgia. 30344. Now, I want to do something this weekend. I want to do something different. I know you're coming for revival. I know you're coming for, oh Lord, I know you all of that to look at me, but I want to find, praise God, amen. If I, if I can get 120 people, 120 is the number of overflow, is the number, if we can get 120. Now, 153 is the number of revival, correct? Yes, so maybe we should go towards a minimum of 120. 153, if I can find 153 people of, of, that will say to me, Apostle Prophetess, I am I am here for you. I am here. We are here to pray. We are here to connect. We want to see America revive. We want to see, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, uh, people come back to God. We want to see the youth revive. We want to see families restored. We want to see marriages restored. We want to see, we want to see in the fire of God falling in America. People of God, if I cannot gather Praise God, 150 of y'all, that I am wasting my time. Praise God. I want to say at least 700. Praise God. Amen. If I cannot get them, the revival has been going good. I, I'm just telling you, there's been thousands of people in that first weekend, thousands of people packed that arena. The, the last week you saw it. Praise God. At one point, we had to move all the chairs out just to let more people in. 700 people packed in that in that arena. This weekend, there will be no exception. I know I'm just giving you the address today. That was because I had to pray. I had to talk to God. God, where will we go? What do you want me to do? I know today is late, but it's not too late. Praise God. Because if you gas your car up and fill the tank up, praise God, you will get here by Friday. I say you will get here by Friday. You will get here by Friday. Praise God. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can hinder us. People are so, you are too moved by circumstances. You are too moved by people who are carnal. Get yourself out of soul grit and get yourself into God's grit. Lock yourself into God. Praise God. I'm seeing many of you are waiting. If you're, if you're standing with us, praise God. Just begin to wave your hands quickly and say, Prophet is apostle. I am standing with you. Prophet is apostle. I am with you. We are with you. Come on, open up your mouth and say something. Say something. Say something. We are with you. We are with you. We are with you. Jama mama nara mata raba rara bata rata raba rara raba shana raba nera rete de bara rara 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 rosa baba 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 mama na rete de de bosha nara mata na rete rama shana mata rama shana eka raba nara masha nara bade e shaba nara masha nara baha kura baba basha na. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. Listen to me. God is going to do this. The Spirit of God is doing this. This is a move of God. This is not a move of man. This is a move of God. It is not the move of man. This is the hand of God compelling us, pushing us to go forward, pushing Apostle and I to do this assignment. People of God, hallelujah, we are under spiritual arrest. My God, what is this prophetess? Praise God, we don't care what matter the cost, we will carry the cross. We will carry the cross across America. We will carry the message of the cross across America. I was preaching one time ago on TBN 
And as I was, I was, as we were driving from the hotel, the Trinity Broadcasting Network, we were staying at a hotel. I don't remember what city I was in. Praise God. It may have even been in Florida or may have been right here in Georgia. I was about to go on TPN right here in Georgia. And, and there was a man in the, when I came downstairs um, from, the, from the room, there was a man um, that was in the, in the limousine. Um, and he, he told me his name. Um, his name escapes me right now. Um, Minister, I don't know if you remember his name. But he was, he was carrying the cross. He said he was given an assignment to carry the cross uh, uh, um, all, over, all over America. And um, he was walking with this cross to every part of the world and all over America. And I began to, as I was conversating with the man, we were in the limousine. And I was like, um, so you mean to tell me, sir, all you do is walk all day. He was a, a white gentleman. Praise God. Uh, Ada Blessed. Was that his name? Ada Blessed. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That was his name. And, and I would get to conversate with him. And I could not understand his mission. Because I'm like, why would you carry a cross on your back walking the streets of America just to attract attention? He said, when people see him carry the cross, they will stop and ask him, why are you carrying this cross? What is your problem? What has happened to you? And he said, nothing has happened to me, but everything has happened to Jesus. And he will use that moment to preach to people. People, he had an entire ministry. And now I, 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 I look at the man sitting in that, in that car, even as we got to TBN and we were coming out, I was still looking at him. I was looking at him and the enemy wanted me to look at him and say, oh, you poor fella, you, you don't know that Jesus already carried the cross and now you are still yet carrying the cross. But it wasn't until we were finished that night on TBN and we are going back to where we came from that I realized his message. He was not trying to say he was going to suffer for Jesus. What he was trying to say was, I'm using the, set, the affliction of Jesus and to show them his victory at the cross because he's no longer in the grave to show people that they can also have eternal life. They can also have victory. And from that day, my life was changed. I began to look at the cross. Even though the cross is a cross of suffering and affliction, I still saw the cross as an opportunity to preach the gospel. Now, years later, I myself, an apostle, we are carrying the same cross. <laughs> we are carrying the same cross. The burden of the same cross. We are carrying it. So, people of God, you are part of something great. You are part of something powerful. Please do not disappoint. Get in your car. Get in a train. Get on a plane. Meet me this weekend. Praise God. Meet me. Praise God. Amen. This weekend. Praise God. Right here in Georgia. It doesn't matter if you, in, you live in Alabama. It doesn't matter if you live in North Carolina. It doesn't matter if you live in New York. It doesn't matter if you live in Virginia. It doesn't matter if you live in Florida. It doesn't matter if you're in Florida. Well, the altar's there in Florida. But we're praying this weekend. Praise God. Amen. The Legacy Center, 3015 R.N. Martin Street, East Point, Georgia, 30344. So come and be with us. God is going to bless you. I thank God for all of you today. I want you all to take your, your daily seed out. Many of you already started sowing. Praise God to God be the glory. Hallelujah. It takes prayer. It takes faith. It takes everything. It even takes giving. Praise God. I bless you today in the name of Jesus Christ. As you release your seed, I release the blessing upon you and your family. I release the blessing upon you and your loved ones that your life will change and turn around, that your children will be delivered. I, I, I feel strong in my spirit as we're praying for this revival. See, y'all think we're praying for a service. Some people think we're praying to have a church service. No, we're praying for your people, your family to be delivered. We're praying for the stronghold to be broken from your life. We're praying for, praise God, crime to be, the, to be diminished. We're praying for your, 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 your wealth to come. That's when revival comes. Praise God. I feel like I need to do something, uh, another teaching for people to understand when revival comes. Oh, yeah. What the spirit of revival brings to your life. Yeah. It's not just a church service. It, it, it brings all the blessings of the kingdom of God. Oh, 
Praise God. Hallelujah. So as you're coming and standing with this revival in this city, we're coming to another city. We're going to go to another city. We're going to go to another state. We're going to go to another territory. And we will continue to go like that until we have seen change come in the nation. Change yes, come into the life of the people. In the mighty name of Jesus. So as you give today, may the Lord bless you. May he bless you. May he bless you. Fire Revival America, do it, Lord. Do it as the people give. Bless them today. Increase them a thousand, so many more. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. As you're giving, may the Lord prosper you. Praise God. I'm depending on you. Praise God. In this time, in this season. Praise God. Amen. Four is also the number of revival. You'll begin to see things restored. This is the fourth month. Praise God. Amen. Things are going to change in the next weeks to come and months. You'll even see some things adverse. Amen. Things happening in the climate. Praise God. Weather. The weather patterns. Things are going to be happening. Praise God. But it's okay. We are not shaking in our mind. We believe that revival has come in advance. Praise God so that people can be secured in their faith. That's you today. God bless all of you. Praise God. God bless all of you. I'm believing God for seven of you to sow a seed of $107. $107. I'm believing seven of you to sow that seed today. Praise God. We have to carry, push for this revival. Amen. And I'm also believing God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah for many of you to sow that seed of a thousand dollars. What is that thousand dollar seed doing? It's helping us to push through to the next week. Yes. It's helping us to push. We're flying people. Praise God. Even from the Bahamas. We're flying people from South Florida. Praise God. I am here and a small part of my team is here with us. But then there are other components of the team that we, we, we have to bring in. Praise God, amen. My, my musicians, my everything, engineers, praise God, everyone, they're not here. They have to fly back. Some of them have kids in school, so they flew out on Sunday, and now they're coming back on this coming weekend. I want you all to stand with me. I don't want this fire to go out. And the fire on this altar will not go out. You know, in Jesus' ministry, there were people like Curza White, Suzanne, praise God. In Paul's ministry, there was people like Aquila and Priscilla, amen. There were people standing with these people all throughout their ministry to make sure they got to the next city, to make sure that revival broke out in the next territory, that they, they were funding his ministry. They were not just, amen, talking. They were funding. I want you to put your mouth behind your money and your money behind your mouth. Praise God. And so lavishly into this mission field, people of God. We will not stop. I don't care. Praise God. Apostle and I, we continue to push our hands in our pockets and put up because we believe in what the word of the Lord said to us. That he is going to revive America. He's going to revive the kingdoms of the earth. He said, carry this message of fire revival to the east, west, north, and south. And he said, Mary, as you and as Edison, as we do it, he said, Rabakara, many souls will come into my kingdom. That's what we are doing, people. We cannot help ourselves. We are under rest, and we want you to support it financially and prayerfully. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you, Zion's warrior. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. You were the only one clapping just now. <laughs> ah, my God. Thank you, Zion. Zion, hallelujah. May God bless you today, intercessor. May God bless you, mama, just because you praise like that. Just because you were celebrating. I feel the presence of God. The Lord said, I'm hearing your prayer, daughter. I'm hearing your prayer. For I see the things you are praying for, said the Lord. I see them and I hear you come daily before me. And God said, tell you today. I am causing a turnaround to come in your family here. In your entire family, praise God. Your immediate house, but yes, also your siblings. Amen. The people in your family, they need Jesus. Praise God. I see some of them going their own way. I see some of them, praise God, in the lifestyle, the party. I see what they're into, but the Lord said, do not be moved by it. He said, why are Karana Mashada Namashaya? He said, I am the one that is shaking and I am the one that that will deliver all of your family in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Jemakarabashata. 
Because all that you have gone through, even personally, all that you went through, in your past season, it was for this good. It was for this good. <laughs> it was for this good. It was for this good. For I saw the relationship and the way the enemy cracked and broke things. And I saw the way the enemy, it was supposed to make you bitter. But God said it made you better. Because even as you connected to this prayer altar, you began to pray like it was nobody business. And I see in the realm of the spirit moment, I see that you are an encouragement to a lot of other people. Praise God. I see people like, and they're being encouraged by your, by your, life for some reason I don't know but I even see other people attached to you other women other people that just you are you don't even realize you are being an encouragement to others and even as I hear you talking about Mary knowledge prophet is my prophet <laughs> you are causing people amen some of them they are sneakingly listening also <laughs> praise God because amen. your voice means something I bless you today I bless you all because you praised I bless you wow. Thank you, Prophetess. Thank you, thank you, Prophetess. Prophetess, you've been such a blessing to my family. Words cannot even be getting to express the view of my God. I'm so grateful for this ministry. I'm so grateful for what God has done so here in our lives. My God, on this altar, you called my daughter's name. Her name is Brittany. You called her. We wrote on the altar the morning prayer. You called her. Um, on a doing a YouTube um, session, and you know, I know God has begun a good work. She's been diagnosed with schizophrenia, but I know that God is working in her to bring her out. And yes, ma'am. God will bring her out. That's a spirit, and it will not prevail, prevail over her. I call her name. You said Brittany. I call it. In fact, just recently, uh huh. I called that name. I uh, my God, look at God. Mama, I stand and I lock faith with you. I command that spirit of schizophrenia, that spirit of mental, amen, delusion, yes. mental agony, yes. mental torment. Yes. That's what it is, a spirit of torment. I command it to lose her. Yes. Go out of Brittany. Go out of her. Go out of yes. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. I deliver her by the power of Jesus Christ. I deliver her by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Brittany, be free in your yes. mind. I call it to a sound yes. man, yes. to a sound yes. man, yes. sound spirit in the name of Jesus. Where's your mother? My mother? Yes. But she lives not too far from me. She doesn't live with me. Okay. I pray that God will also touch her and deliver her in the name of Jesus. When I pray for Brittany, I try to see where the spirit came in. My, my, grandmother, my grandmother is deceased. She was involved in heavy witchcraft. Yes, I see they this. Yes, and I see that come through down the land, the bloodline. That's why yes. I pray for your yes. mother. And I touch your mother on her head. And I pray that God will deliver your mother totally. And that this spirit of dementia, schizophrenia, yes. All mental delusion and agony will not be her yes. portion or your portion. Yes. And I just ju it jumped, it jumped over you to go to Brittany. But I declare that God will deliver that child, deliver out of yes. all of her troubles in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Jesus. God bless you, Mama. God bless you. God bless you, Prophetess. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Praise God. To God be all the glory, saints of God. Amen. To God be all the glory. To God be all the praise. Isn't that amazing? God will just speak to you. Amen. Just speak to you. Just talk to you. Praise God. Amen. And tell you, praise God, all of your trouble. Yes. Help you out of all of your woes. He will bring you out. Listen, saints of God, I look forward to seeing you. Amen. Amen. This weekend, as I said, Friday night. Don't miss five. Uh, don't miss uh, um, the, the time that we're in. Thank you for sowing. Thank you all for standing with me. Those of you that are sowing that seed. Amen. To the missions. Amen. Amen. I, I'm just waiting on the Lord to tell me what to bless you people with, especially those of you that are the thousand years and the ten thousand years. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm already getting praise report back from those people that got that special gift from us, that some of those got the keys. Praise God. I'm getting so much praise reports. Doors are opening. Doors are a favor are opening to these people. And that's just the way God does it. So thank you all. I love you all with the love of Jesus. Have a blessed day. Amen. Be blessed. I love you. Shalom.
I can't grasp the idea that you missed the first Overflow Fire Revival. Wait, I think there's some new intel coming. Coming to you live. Fire Revival America Overflow is happening again. I repeat, the fire just got seven times hotter than before. There's no stopping this. We can't contain it. I don't know, praise God, if you had gone to school to do medical, something medical, yes. eh? Is this true? Yes. Is this true? Yes. Zappa, Zappa. Apostle Edison and prophetess Maddie Nottage, by the Spirit of God, is leading us. The Spirit of God is with us. We are on a mission. The fire of God is still burning America. We are here. We are waiting. But if you come to this altar, Jesus said, I will save you to the utmost. This weekend, it continues. I'm in the deep, the rap, the deep.
let yourself go. Deep calling out to deep, the deep forever. The deep forever rounds of the spirit, interacting with the mortals, with the angels of the Lord, with the 24 elders. There, you will meet Elijah, Elisha, Abraham. Jacob, Isaac, you will meet Samuel, Daniel Rams, you will see Paul. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You will see those elders around the throne of God as they bow and worship, as they honor the King, the eternal one, the deeper, the deeper, the deeper is calling you. Change. Sickness will die. Your doctor's report will change. The deeper realms. The deep. He has your children covered. He has you covered. 